Hi folks, Tony Mouse here yet again and the intention of this short video is to get you to understand that you can add photos when you upload them to Facebook to an album rather than just individual photos at random. This has a huge advantage uh, in that it makes those photos a lot more easily found. Okay, so I'm going to log into Facebook first of all. And I'm using a desktop computer, which is a bit unfortunate in a way because I know most of you use your phones to upload photos. But anyway, maybe if I show it to you on the way I know, then we can uh, move on from there. So, here we are uh, at my Facebook page. If I want to go to the Murray Valley Bushwalkers group page, group site and here we are and this site knows me well so I'm going to add video or photo here and I'm going to create an album which is a bit different to simply uploading photos to your Facebook or sorry Murray Valley Facebook group site at random we're going to create a video album this time photo album this time Alright, so I've engaged that option. My computer's looking at photos in the album or on the folder that I've stored them in. I'm going to pick out four to use. Here's my favourite from this walk. This was a walk that was done last Sunday, May the 26th. Alright, I'll go two, three, four. And five, and go open. Sorry about the sound effects from the dog. The music's Angie McMahon, by the way. I knew you were waiting to hear that. The dog is Miffy. Okay, here comes my photos. And I've now got the opportunity to create an album. I'm going to change the date to be the actual date the event was on. And I'm going to change the description for the MVB at the start and the oops, M, no, try again. MVB half day walk in Barranduda Range Palace location. Okay. And we'll choose that. That'll do. And uh, there we go. Here's the five photos. So I'll now post. And hopefully I'll get a chance to write some more text. There we go. The five photos have emerged. Now the advantage of that is that that album is now saved in the Murray Valley Bushwalkers Facebook site so I can retrieve it at any time and I can link which is what I love to do from photos in the album to uh, a page on the website. So I'll show you how to do that shortly. That'll be the next step. Thanks for watching.